Okay, let's go. Okay, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, we are our guest again here uh, from uh, Filipino, yeah? Uh, Lee. Uh, what should I call you? Lee or Lei or? Uh, yeah, just call me Lei. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, uh she's uh, from uh Filipino, I guess. Uh, I mean from Philippines. So, uh, from Manila or what? I mean, uh, there's a uh, yeah, Manila. Manila. I'm from Manila. Oh okay, yeah. Uh, before I gonna start with the video, yeah. Uh, as usual, maybe uh, can you share a little bit more about yourself and yeah, how you get into Big Hole for the for, for the first time? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that question. So I'm Lei. Um, I just turned 26 and I'm from Manila. Um, I took up um, architecture in a university in Manila, but I end up doing uh, a different job in the finance um, sector. And um, so there, <laughs> I used to be a phone banker. Um, in an American bank based in the Philippines. So I got into Bitcoin um, around early last year while I was um, working for Wells Fargo. So I already resigned from Wells Fargo, by the way. Um, it's really weird how I got into Bitcoin because I was, um, since I mentioned that I was a former banker I was handling uh, transactions of people and there was this specific transaction that um, I get curious. <laughs> it's from an exchange. So um, actually I've heard about Bitcoin in around 2017. My ex was crazy about it, but I didn't give much attention about it. And I thought that it was a bubble that will explode one day and that was in 2017 and it's already 2022 and bitcoin hasn't you know died yet <laughs> so there um so i downloaded binance because i was so curious about cryptocurrencies um it started becoming popular in the philippines when the pandemic happened um, most Filipinos are into play-to-earn games such as Axis Infinity. So that specific game has an in-game currency, which is SLP, and their native token, which is Axis. So it got so popular and huge in my country. And, um, and I also joined that hype, by the way. And that's when I became more open-minded to cryptocurrencies in general. So um, yeah, I I also um, bought a lot of altcoins. I was overexposed with altcoins, and I really have no idea about these altcoins. All I wanted to do was to was to make money, and. Um, I think it was around December when the bull run happened, <laughs> December of last year. Yes. And I was, um, it was my first time to experience um, a bear market. So um, that was very, very new <laughs> to me and painful at the same time. <laughs> and yeah. Um, and I have a friend, a Filipino friend, who is a Bitcoin maximalist. So um, he told me that um, buying altcoins are like gambling. Yeah. It's well, all cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin, well, in general, are actually <laughs> gambling. But like the the altcoins have much more risk, and that. Um, yeah, I was told by my Filipino friend that Bitcoin is the only store of value. So there. And now I'm most of my portfolio is just Bitcoin and some I self-custody some of it in my ledger. So there. That's how I got into cryptocurrency just because um I was handling bank accounts of Americans and um I've I read articles from my 
company. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry for that. Yes. So so I read um um internal articles from Wells Fargo and um apparently at the time they have some like new laws for um cryptocurrency traders that they're going to tax them and something like that so yeah that's why i i got so curious how it works and like when i signed up on twitter bitcoin twitter that's yeah. when i learned that um bitcoin is a store of value and that um fiat money is depreciating um it has no potential up value <laughs> and that um in the philippines by the way um we experienced a five percent inflation almost like every quarter and it's really bad because i remember when i was like young um ten dollars or 500 philippine pesos can buy a lot of things around a decade ago but like right now the ten dollars or 500 pesos it's like you can only buy two or three things from the grocery so there it's just crazy um that our fiat money is depreciating and like you really don't know where to park your assets so um well there's actually gold my my relatives and family are gold bugs well former gold bugs yeah. and like the problem with gold is that it's not really that portable so if you park your assets in in gold there are some cons and um well it's actually through that the value of gold is increasing but like bitcoin has more um how do i say this bitcoin has more advantages over gold so there <laughs> yeah. so yeah that's uh your unique story uh got into mm. bitcoin and yeah you yeah gave up with the shit coin or our coin so yeah i know it's uh it's often i i i saw you on your twitter as well you like uh toxic maximalist you try to yeah like it's some influencer who shields shit coins uh, you try to yeah uh yeah harsh on them so yeah i, I understand because uh, uh, the, the people who have no idea about this space uh, who joined this uh, early in this pandemic in particular have no idea at all mm -hmm. right? and when you have no idea what you yeah buy and you uh invest in so it's uh quite unfortunate to them because uh, it's only a matter of time uh, before they get burned you know they get right or something so yeah i think right. uh, uh, during the bitcoin dealer it's uh is the well first. actually well i i really want to apologize for my um for interrupting and for my kind of toxic tweets on twitter <laughs> actually okay, i'm not okay. really yeah, that's part of uh, bitcoin twitter you know i i i used to be i mean i i also uh use uh, you know that kind of uh behavior you know sometimes because uh people mm -hmm. who yeah, at some point uh, when you can make money to uh, try to get me more Bitcoin, I think it's fine uh, because uh, it's uh, we cannot uh, yeah uh, what 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 is it called uh, we, we cannot cross the line uh, to uh, yeah to teach people how uh, they move their money right. But at the same times when yeah. they try to piss like oh uh, this coin is better than Bitcoin ah that's something that I cannot uh, yeah I cannot take you know so mm -hmm. that's why I, that's uh, toxic, toxic behavior is uh, sometimes happens. Yeah, so. right. I was just actually bandwagoning um, like Bitcoiners. I made friends on Twitter. But I'm not very active on Twitter. I know you can tell that because I have um a, I have a life outside Bitcoin Twitter, yes. and like um when my friends are like bullying some influencer, a crypto influencer who is paid to shill shit coins. So I also <laughs> kind of like to bully that person as well. But like <laughs> so there um. 
but I'm not really that active on Bitcoin Twitter. I just use it to read uh, updates about Bitcoin and inf for information. So there. Yeah, and for the memes as well. Yes, it's okay. Because uh, with, uh, with Twitter, uh, Twitter is uh, more than news, more than information, you know, because uh, it's... Uh, uh you got uh, uh the uh the information first hand because uh yeah sometimes it's breaking news it's on twitter and it spread uh, like a virus right when uh you retweet uh who follows what uh and then who uh, yeah yeah something like that so it's uh something that's uh really amazing i mean uh, even elon musk uh, bought twitter recently right so i think yeah that's right that, the power of the Bitcoin era, you know, that's why the, yeah, the uh, people who in Indonesia itself is not really exposed to Twitter, you know, because uh, 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 the vast majority of people still using Instagram. So that's why uh, oh. the people here are not uh, really educated about Bitcoin, you know, because uh, when it comes to uh, uh, Bitcoin or crypto in particular, and then uh, use Twitter. You know? Uh, but uh, the, the people in here are still uh, most of the time using mm. Instagram. So I don't know about yeah. your country. Well, well, actually, in the Philippines, um, how do I say this? Yes. I think I there's a data on Twitter that stated we have like what, 4 million crypto users in the Philippines, yes. but very, very few Bitcoiners. Um, I think majority of the Filipinos have heard of cryptocurrency just merely because of Axis Infinity because yeah. that specific game, a lot of Filipino men um, left their jobs only to play that game because they're earning fiat money from it and like um, the money you earn from that game is actually competitive to your um daily wage in the philippines which is like ten dollars a day so like if if you're earning um 20 to 40 dollars a day just by playing axis infinity and that that's like a lot that means a lot for most filipinos so they left their jobs for it and like it became so popular in the philippines so millions of filipino men played Axis Infinity and swapped their SLP, which is a crypto, an in-game currency from Axis to Philippine Passes. And that's when um, Filipinos got introduced to cryptocurrency in general. And we have Facebook groups as well that I've seen, which is merely dedicated for cryptocurrency only. And there are like over a hundred thousand Filipino members um and like Filipinos are posting um TA charts there and some are asking which altcoins to buy and whatsoever so there it's really nice to see that because um Filipinos are starting to be open-minded with cryptocurrency and um but the thing is that they they do know what bitcoin is but they don't understand what bitcoin is so like i think that um we actually have zero bitcoin influencers in the yes. philippines and like i think i think bitcoin just needs to be um advertised more to filipinos like if i only have the time and um dedication i would have like created youtube in um in tagalog and explain bitcoin to the filipinos that it's a good hedge against inflation because i can really foresee in the future that philippine peso just like venezuelan bolivar or what was the currency from argentina it yeah the same thing will happen for sure yeah. and like yeah that's inevitable <laughs> and exactly. i just think that i need to educate um filipino people about bitcoin maybe through social media so there um 
I just also think that if if I ever <laughs> if I ever have the chance to like educate whoever our future president is, um, I would definitely tell them or advise them to make Bitcoin a legal tender because I think the Philippine government is borrowing lots of money from the international monetary fund about trillions and like the imf is like charging us high interest rates it's very ridiculous so um it makes us filipinos harder to pay our debt to the imf um so there and that's why i think bitcoin is useful for third world and developing countries um, because the IMF is charging us ridiculous interest rates and we are having a hard time paying it. <laughs> so there. Um, I, I still think that Bitcoin still has a long way to go. Yeah. Um, I don't know if mass adoption will happen like in the near future, maybe in, in a decade or so. Yeah. So there. Um, Although my, my boomer relatives, um, they still think that Bitcoin is a scam yes. and like a bubble. Um, yeah, I just need to educate them about that. Um, and by the way, on my birthday, that was around February 20. Um, I, I decided to, I'm not sure if you've seen that tweet. But like I yeah, decided yeah. to your do it tweet, right? when you like celebrate your birthday with Bitcoin and with uh, mm -hmm. yeah with some people yeah happy birthday by the way yeah it's quite late so, yeah. yeah thank you <laughs> right um yeah I I decided to like celebrate a birthday feeling program because when I bought Bitcoin last year I think it was around um twenty twenty thousand dollars um at the time so i was also trading altcoins at the time as well and like i decided to um celebrate my birthday in the depressed community in manila to feed uh filipino kids because i'm not sure if you know this but like <laughs> around like 30% of our population are living in poverty and are marginalized. So we have a lot of um, slum areas and yeah, impoverished communities. So I, I decided to um, promote Bitcoin as well to the parents. So I was able to feed like over 150 kids and i also gave like 200 goodie bags which contains rice and um canned goods and um toiletries as well and eggs to um filipino parents to the filipino adults yes. and at the same time i was also um promoting bitcoin to them and I was able to explain what Bitcoin is because I can speak um, Tagalog fluently. Um, I also taught them how to stack sets yes. cheaply. And I told them that um, I explained to them the key keywords for Bitcoin. Like Bitcoin is the new money. You can send Bitcoin all over the world for free without um, going um, versus going to Western Union because Western Union is charging um, ridiculous fees as well whenever you send money. And I told them that Bitcoin is what you guys need to escape poverty. Yeah. So there. Um, Apparently, it's just really hard for Filipinos to, to like make money. So, so um, 
a lot of them would rather, whenever they get their wage from their blue-collar jobs, they'd rather spend it on food rather than stacking sacks. Yeah. So, so there. Um, yeah, but poverty in the Philippines, um, it's a complicated problem. Um, I'm sure Bitcoin fixes some of it. But yes. yeah, it's, it's really complicated. It's a complex problem. Yes. That um that requires a lot of solutions, not only Bitcoin. <laughs> so yeah, we, yeah, because it's not only in Philippines, you know. I mean, in Indonesia, it's the same. Because mm-hmm. yeah, maybe yeah, because of the population, Indonesia is the third largest uh, population in the world, if I'm mistaken. So. Yeah, when it comes to that, uh, yeah, it's uh, hard to manage the people, right? And yeah, uh, the bottom 99% of people uh, still living uh, paycheck to paycheck, even though it's still not uh, below poverty. But uh, the, uh, the middle income cl- uh, class is uh, the way that, uh, you know, uh, uh, the rich get richer, you know, because uh, they consume more than they uh, produce, right? So. Uh, when they uh, consume more than they produce, uh, there's uh, there's discrepancy between the yeah the, the saving and the, uh, in, in the in the economy, right? So uh, that's why uh, the the rich uh, get richer and poor get poorer because it's also because of the cheap money. Uh, you know, the top one percent get a high credit score and credit worthiness. And right. The, the asset and uh, the rest of us we, we get only the inflation of the 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 money printing, you know. So that's uh, yeah, it's a complex uh, problem to the yeah. Sometimes we cannot uh, you know solve the uh, complicated uh, problem into uh, easy solution, you know, because it's uh, really uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of hard to say, you know, because I think it's not only uh, happened to the. Uh, third world country, you know. I mean, it's a systemic uh, problem. I mean, it's uh, by design. I don't know. It's a, comp- a cons- conspiracy theories or not. But uh, sometimes uh, when I feel that uh, that way, it's uh, it's kind of complicated problem. Uh, but at the same time, it's uh, by design, you know, because uh, we have to, uh, you know, use that um, uh, um, from IMF uh, to run the country and then we to mm-hmm. elect the politician uh, uh, most of them are, are both are liars uh, you know <laughs> politician uh, right. cannot uh, promise so uh, I don't know uh, at the same time uh, it's all about people you know and we found the people's money which is Bitcoin so I don't know uh, it's uh, you're right I understand your point of view uh, of uh, you right know, complex problem you know in the in the yeah. third world country right right but actually um my partner um i have i actually have a partner and we both plan to <laughs> create a youtube channel to promote bitcoin in the philippines mm-hmm. i'm sure it's yeah although it's going to be hard to do so but like uh, maybe we can try to educate Filipinos um, and hopefully we will get some engagement as well. And not only on YouTube, maybe on social media. Uh, yeah. uh, most Filipinos are using Facebook, actually, not Instagram, for yeah. social media. Yeah. And um, it's pretty easy to get viral on Facebook because Filipinos are... Um, active 24 7 on facebook it's like they spend like eight hours a day on facebook um yeah so so i think i could also use facebook to promote um bitcoin as well and yeah i really i'm not really sure what my partner's plans are but he um told me that we should um, promote Bitcoin and educate Bitcoin, educate Filipinos about Bitcoin rather, about um, its importance. And um, and actually, I'm not really that knowledgeable with the technicalities of Bitcoin. 
but I understand its purpose. So yeah. yeah. Because I'm not really a nerd. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't yeah, understand okay, yeah. those things they say on Twitter, like yeah. um, the hash rate or whatsoever. Yeah. And like, <laughs> it's, it's okay. yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Um, my partner is a nerd, so he understands those stuff. And like, um, he has like around 50 or so. Um, he does, um, he also does trade Ethereum, um, he leverages them, so yeah, <laughs> I'm really, like, ignorant when it comes to technical analysis and trading or whatsoever, I just buy and hold and stack sets, so, yeah, so exactly. yeah, um, my partner will help me to, um, promote Bitcoin and hopefully create a business in the philippines about bitcoin because i really think it's so promising actually um there's this game that i'm playing um i also found out on bitcoin twitter and one of the um developers of that game is my friend from twitter as well um i'm not sure if you heard about this but it's called thunder games were thunder games where you earn bitcoin by playing their games yeah. and like um if if this game can like reward you with bitcoin um i'm sure that this game has a potential as well for filipinos because so sorry um let me just check my twitter because <laughs> my okay. friends are spamming me yeah. Um, okay. So there, I logged out of my Twitter because <laughs> yeah. I have a group chat there. So anyway, <laughs> going back to the topic, um, um, because Axis Infinity is popular, was popular in the Philippines back then, but like their in-game currency, um, plunged to more than ninety percent from all-time high. Yes. Because obviously it's a shit coin. SLP is a shit coin. Yes. And um and I think that Thunder Games just needs to like promote their games more in third world countries like the Philippines. Because if if only Filipinos would find out about Thunder Games and that they will earn Bitcoin, obviously Bitcoin is not a shit coin. So um, I think it will, it will really get popular. I think the Philippines is an untap market for Bitcoin games. And like, um, so yeah, um, I just think that it's really, it would be really nice if they market um, their games in the Philippines as well. So that Filipinos earn Bitcoin instead of shit coins. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. there. Yeah, I know. I mean, uh, Axie Infinity not only happens in uh, Philippines. I mean, it's not viral in there. In Indonesia as well, it's uh, all over the place. Uh, people talk about it. But uh, when, yeah, last September when uh, Bitcoin pop out and have a correction a little bit, the shit coin uh, mm -hmm. goes to the ground, you know, <laughs> goes to zero in quote-unquote. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, like you said before, uh, down 99%. Uh, I don't know, or maybe at some point in the future, uh, I'll never go back again. So, and then, mm -hmm. yeah, stay there forever. I don't know. It's uh, just uh, the way of coins. But I think uh, the most important thing is the play to earn. Uh, do you think that play to earn is uh, part of the future or is it just a hype that uh, uh, people uh, try to yeah, encourage or convince? Mm -hmm. In my um, opinion, um, play to earn games. Well, actually, there's a lot of play to earn games nowadays that are using cryptocurrency. Yeah. And um, some of them, like, I think it's called the Central Land and etc. So there's really a lot. Um, I think it's merely for entertainment. But not for like, for you should not um, turn to play to earn games for your 
main source of income like Filipinos did with Axis Infinity because um, play to earn games have really bad graphics. And yeah. like, I think the developers of this game take, of these games, take more than what they give. Um, Cause I, I think that um, although some play to earn games have utilities, I'm not really knowledgeable about yes, this. Yes. Yeah. play to earn games but um i think you should only play those p2e games if you're bored um and if you're willing to gamble with your money because these games um these games actually require you to um play with your money right <laughs> And that's different from traditional games like like um, Counter Strike, because these games it involves your money, your savings. Yes. So there, um, it's only it's mer only merely for leisure, and if you're bored. Yeah. So that's my opinion about play to earn yeah, okay, games, yeah, and so. you should not really take it seriously. Uh, <laughs> um, so there. Yeah, that's I, just my opinion. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I understand for uh, yeah, point of view because, yeah, when it comes to like metaverse, web three or something, they try to like separate real life and uh, uh, you know internet life. You know, I mean, they you cannot. Uh, you, uh, I don't know. In the future, we never know. But uh, the direction is going that way. You know, and. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what's uh, going on in there. Maybe some people try to, yeah, uh, make a surveillance state uh, in the in the tech community and uh, in the metaverse or in the web three. I don't know. But uh, mm -hmm. it's kind of scary, you know. At the same time, because uh, people have no purpose in life and uh, try to play games. But I don't know, there is uh, some people who make money, such as PewDiePie or something like that, who uh, got rich uh, from uh, the game. But uh, when it comes to gamers, it's uh, uh, like a uh, YouTube channel or anything, right? It's a uh, have a community, it's a have uh, a network effect. You cannot like uh, to be, everyone cannot be a gamer, right? So, uh, mm -hmm. because uh, there is some, some, some people who, who cannot watch it, right? So, I don't know, you, you're right before, uh, because uh, game is not uh, for everyone. But if uh, for leisure mm -hmm. time, for sure, you know, why not? But uh, when you uh, do it seriously, you need to calculate it carefully, right? So, yeah, I don't know, it's just uh, my opinion. So, yeah, switching the gears mm -hmm. a bit, uh, I, I'm just curious about your background before, about your, yeah, your accountant or what? I mean, you're uh, in the... Um I know. Um, I had a stint with Wells Fargo as a phone banker. So oh. I basically um, take in calls from clients and oh, okay. um, yeah, and assist them with their uh, transactions or troubleshoot um, their problems with their car card. But I was like, I resigned like over a year ago already. Um, and like I've encountered like transactions were in um, our bank, the the Wells Fargo, the bank I work for. Um, they've been placing a hold to like big deposits um, on bank accounts, like for example, thirty six thousand dollars, because the bank was suspecting that this money is from um bitcoin or cryptocurrency and that this person could be a crypto trader so so like um it's really ridiculous so um the bank tries to like tax this specific um client of mine um and they assume that they're crypto traders because they really want to uh, make sure that um, 
Americans are not able to skirt away taxes, especially if they are um, cryptocurrency traders. Um, fortunately, in the Philippines, we we don't have regulations for cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. We are not taxed for our crypto gains um, yet. <laughs> so um, hopefully it stays like that. Um, in the future, because I really don't want to get taxed for my crypto gains. Yeah. So, I, yeah. In Indonesia, recently, uh, the government's uh, released the, you know, the regulation that uh, you need to pay taxes for your gains or your losses, you know. So that's why it's, uh, I don't know, people say it's a pros and cons because, uh, yeah, too many, uh, too many debt, right? I mean, uh, the, the government need to pay. Uh, that's why they collect taxes from the people. So, uh, yeah, but at the same time, when you, you uh, tax the, the crypto gains, I think you legitimize the crypto itself, right? Uh, in the country because you mm -hmm. have the rules that say that you uh, tax uh, you uh, tax the uh, what is it called the the crypto game so I don't know uh, but mm -hmm. there's uh, pros and cons and there's positive in it right so there's a blazing in these guys uh, in every situation and that's uh, such as that so yeah I think uh, I agree with you but uh, uh, when it comes to your uh, background before uh, did, you, uh, did you resign because of Bitcoin I mean because uh, the banks and the Bitcoin is uh, completely on a different uh, side, right? I mean, uh, they both, uh, uh, each each of them is uh, up against, right? So I don't know. Is that correct? Well, actually, I, I resigned because I really don't like corporate jobs anymore. Yeah, I, 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 oh, like, it's it, so, it's, oh, no, right, yeah. It's so yeah, stressful I, and like, um, it wrecks my soul. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, but hopefully in the future, I will be able to do a job that I will, I will love because the, the bank job gives me like anxiety. And I think that it's not really for me. It's not for everyone. So yeah, 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 yeah. it also gave me depression. <laughs> Yeah, Although I'm not, yeah, I'm not I, struggling I, I, with depression. I thought it's because your principle in Bitcoin, you know, because when you come to Bitcoin, uh, banks is not the answer, right? And uh, you try to resign because uh, it's not really uh, aligned with the Bitcoin vision. So, uh, 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 yeah, it's uh, quite personal, I understand. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I, I understand maybe uh, uh, it's because, uh yeah, it's your personal choice, uh, not uh, having a uh, corporate life, right? So, uh, uh, right. that's pretty much uh, what, yeah, I thought it's a different thing, but uh, you uh, clarify it, so I understand. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, I think when it comes to, yeah, like you said before, uh, you uh, want to create a YouTube channel uh, because of the uh, people in there have no influence in Bitcoin. I think uh, you... You can try, I mean, to like influence people by creating a YouTube, YouTube channel because it is a niche market, right? Yeah, uh, untapped market that uh, people uh, uh, still not recognize uh, what it's all about, right? So when you mm -hmm. speak to with Bitcoin, I think uh, your channel will grow uh, for sure. At the same time, you do your free time uh, with the creating content and educating the people, you know, because. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, and that's the way uh, wealth is created, you know, uh, to uh, from uh, people to uh, from uh, people who is uh, productive, uh, who cons cons uh, consumptive, to uh, people who are yeah, productive like yourself, you know. So yeah, I think uh, your YouTube channel is gonna grow, and yeah, uh, I, I can mm -hmm. uh, help you. Yeah, I I, I can share your YouTube channel. Uh, later on, so yeah. <laughs> thank you. Well, I really don't know what my partner's plans for um, his because he's actually um, in the UK right now. Um, yeah, that's why you. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't really uh, specify to me as to how we will like promote Bitcoin <laughs> to. Um, Filipinos, but like once he comes here, 
to the Philippines, which will be this month. Um, we will discuss about it. Um, because he allegedly told me that he will um help me and provide financially for yeah for that business as well. But there are no um concrete plans yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, I mean, you, you if you have a like partners or something, have you? Uh, seen that the uh, crypto couple, you know, crypto couple is uh, one of the biggest influencer in the uh, Bitcoin space. Yeah, yeah. I, it, uh, I haven't. Sorry. I haven't watched their videos um, per se, but like, um, I do watch other um, Bitcoin influencers as well. I'm just not gonna like state names because. I think, <laughs> to be honest, like Bitcoiners on Bitcoin Twitter have very diverse opinions on yes. um, Bitcoin influencers. So some of them hate this person, some of them yeah, like this so person. Much. Yeah, so there. Um, as for crypto couple, I haven't really like. Um, watch their videos um, or look at their Twitter. I'm not sure if I was uh, following them, but I did. I did um, heard about them. So yeah, one of the because, because uh, maybe the coiners. Yeah, you can yeah, get sorry for now. interrupting. Yeah. yeah, right. So one of the bitcoiners that I look up to was uh, is sorry not was, is um, Jack Mollers, the CEO of Strike. Yes. Um, I, I really hope that he will also um, establish Strike in the Philippines, like what he did in Argentina, so that uh, Filipinos can stop sats cheaply. Um, so there, Jack Mollers and Michael Saylor. <laughs> but some of my like Bitcoiner friends on Twitter, they they don't like Jack Mollers and uh, Michael Saylor. <laughs> so there. Yeah, I think you should check the crypto couple, you know, because you wanna uh, create with your partner. Right? So I think it's uh, uh, I don't know. You get inspired by their videos because. The video is uh, unique and people in Filipina in particular get, will get engaged uh, uh, significantly. You know, I, I, at the same time, it's up to you. I, I, I just uh, give your, uh, you know, some insight, you know, uh, what's, uh, what to follow, who to follow. So, yeah, I, I also like follow a lot of people on Twitter. So that's why I uh, mm -hmm. uh, quite knowledgeable. Uh, because, like I said before, Twitter is uh, like a source of information. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, you know, uh, like you said before, it's uh, you need to like to be picky at the same time, right? Because uh, there is, uh, you know, cancel culture. You don't want to get involved in that because when you mm -hmm. cancel this, uh, you got uh, judged by this, and then yeah, it's something that you cannot explain in words, you know. So. Uh, I understand. Uh, maybe it's uh, only a matter of time for, for for you to, yeah, yeah, to uh, to get into in, in the, into yeah influencer thing. I don't know. It's just uh, my opinion. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so there, but my uh, partner doesn't want that. Um, he wishes to remain um anonymous. So um, he just wants only me to like um be an influencer um for bitcoin if ever it's possible <laughs> but like i i still think that i have a lot um to learn about bitcoin um yeah i'm still um a work in progress <laughs> yeah. um but yeah i i I fully understand why it's important and why it's necessary. And recently, um, Bitcoin on exchanges are running low. So yeah, that's kind of alarming. Um, 
so there. I just think that I'm, I'm running out of English words to say. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. So there. Yeah, I, I understand your point of view. I mean, uh, yeah, it's uh, when, when it comes to education. Uh, yeah, like I said before, if uh, you have not enough uh, Bitcoiners in there, you can tap uh, the untapped market, you know, and then become influencer mm -hmm. in it. Uh, because uh, you know, have some uh, early advantage, you know. I mean, like uh, when you uh, like early adopter and you come become an early YouTuber and you have no competition, you can uh, grab the uh, audience uh, right away, right? So, I think yeah, uh, as time goes by, you can decide whether you uh, can use uh, what uh, kind of uh, content that you want, might like. But at the same time, mm -hmm. uh, you're right. Before it's uh, you need to be pretty as well uh, when it comes to uh, creating content, right? So, yeah, uh, I think uh, TikTok. Uh, you know, TikTok content is uh, viral in there. Uh, many people use TikTok in there, or not? Because mm -hmm. some crypto yeah, right. creator uh, use uh, TikTok as well, right? So like TikTok dance or something like that. Yeah. Right. Um... I I think TikTok is also good a good social media platform for promoting Bitcoin. Majority of like TikTok users in the Philippines are Generation Z. Yeah. So um they're younger than me. I'm actually kind of like well, I was born in nineteen ninety six, so yeah. um almost generation Z and millennial <laughs> so um i think um if you promote bitcoin on twitter a lot of gen z filipinos will be into it um but if you want to target um the adults i think i should stick with youtube and facebook so there yeah but like I, I was also told by my partner, because we have a local crypto exchange here. Um, it's called coins.ph. And um, he was, he once told me that he was also planning to, um, to cooperate or coordinate with them. Yeah. Um, because coins that ph is a local exchange and they it's the most popular exchange yeah. in the philippines and they sell bitcoin and other cryptos as well yeah. so there um i was asking my partner if <laughs> if i can like if we if we can make um a bitcoin only exchange in the philippines yeah. But like he doesn't want to because um apparently he thinks that um um being in charge of people's money is very stressful. Yeah. <laughs> and very, very expensive as well to make um a Bitcoin only exchange here. So there. Yeah, yeah because I saw the recent news that uh people uh, in Filipino, have some uh, most uh, transaction ever. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. But uh, yeah, when it comes to Bitcoin only, I think you're right because uh, people are still not educated enough about the uh, Bitcoin itself. But uh, once they do, uh, they they get to FOMO, you know, because the price is skyrocketing and you have no Bitcoin left, right? So uh, you can only pop up the price because uh, you know there is no Bitcoin in circulation. So. Uh, yeah, I understand uh, uh, your point of view. You know, I mean, uh, is uh, is it hard uh, in there to create a mischange in Philippines? I, I know uh, you, you're not uh, into the regulation or something like that. I mean, uh, it's uh, is uh, one of those things, right? Right, when you like uh, local exchange is uh, related to the. Uh, uh, global exchange that uh, have the liquidity of uh, of globalization, such as uh, you know Binance. 
Binance have their own company in Indonesia called Tokopedia, you know, because uh, of regulation, Binance cannot be here. That's why they bought uh, Tokopedia and use liquidity of Binance. Is that the, uh, the thing wow. in, in uh, Philippines or not? Because uh, uh, some some yeah uh, some country have a, a restriction. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. That's why I asked. We don't question. have any restriction. Okay. Um, yeah. There's a lot of Filipinos who use Binance as well. I think um, Binance. Well. I'm not sure if Binance or Coins that PH is the most popular, but it's either either of the two. Um, it's just that Coins that PH is local, so there. Um, but I I also use Binance. Um, apparently, I think that <clears throat> exchange specifically requires um, KYC, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I saw points your that PH well. doesn't have KYC. I think. Yeah, uh, oh, Binance, uh, you know, have a restriction of KYC uh, because I don't know. It's not only about Binance, you know. It's happening for everybody because of the regulation. Uh, you need to track money laundering or something. Or you need to track taxes or not. Uh, that's why it's. Uh, uh, Indonesia is a restriction. Uh, is a it has a some restriction, you know. That's why uh, we need to uh, pay attention. Uh, but uh, like you said before, in the Philippines, it's not uh, it's not really happening right in the regulation because uh, maybe it's not yet to re, uh, to be regulated. But uh, at the same time, uh, maybe uh, if, uh, politicians have uh, some their games. Uh, I don't know. I am not judging. I'm not uh, guessing. I'm just mm -hmm. uh, feeling mm -hmm. like uh, it's a uh, uh, it's an early matter of time before getting regulated. You know, because uh, the big money is uh, getting involved in the space, right? But I don't know. Let's see. Right. 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 Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> so there it is. Sorry. Please. Uh, you. you yeah. Uh, in the Philippines, uh, wh wh when is the election? Since you mentioned the election, um, the elections would the presidential elections would yes. be this coming. Um, I think first week of May. I'm not really uh, um, sure because I'm not really like um, a fan of politics yeah, know, in the yes. Philippines. <laughs> yeah, but, I, I, yeah, it would. I thought, really I thought that uh, you know, uh, Mani Pakuyo uh, running for president is that correct or not? Uh, I, 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 you can correct me. Yeah. Right, he is running for um, presidency as well. Anyone can actually run for presidency as long as you meet the requirements. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what the requirements are. Apparently, he meets yeah, yeah, all yeah. of them, and. He's pretty um, comfortable, although um, I think that um, he's not knowledgeable enough and experienced enough in politics. He yes. should really stick to boxing. <laughs> but um, yeah. he thinks that he will win because he won. He became a senator. Apparently, he won. And I think it's because of name recall. Like, um, Filipinos voted him just because uh, he's a boxer and um, they are being reminded that he's a, he's a boxer. So yeah. most um, politicians and um, people who, who, who are running in the Philippines, those who win are mostly celebrities, <laughs> um, actors, actresses, just because, um, just because of name recall, so there. Um, but yeah, whoever, I don't really mind whoever like wins the um, presidential elections here, um, as long as they, as long as they're smart and responsible, I just really want the future Philippine president to be smart. And that's not Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> I really have nothing against him. He's a really good boxer and he's so skillful um, yes. about that. But not 
um, not in terms of <laughs> politics. I know, I know. Yeah, that's uh, that's why you know uh, when uh, it is the core of problem is uh, cheap money and uh, uh, free money of uh, money printing. You know because. You create populism, you know. When you create populism, you try to like like a huge follower or a huge uh, massive uh, influencer, uh, like uh, Malika Pakuyas. I'm not judging it's if it's not. Uh, I'm not judging it's uh, wrong or not. You know, I'm I'm just saying that uh, it's uh, one of those things that you need to pay attention to because uh, uh, it's, uh, you sometimes I can uh, abuse your power. Right, but you 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 can just use your influence. That's why I I I I cannot uh, tolerate that in many ways, you know. Because when it comes to abuse of power, you know, uh, there's a quote that saying that uh, uh, oh, what is it called uh, absolute power uh, corrupt absolutely. So it's uh, only matter of time right. uh, until Lord. And that's why Bitcoin uh, come to a place, you know. I I, I mean. Uh, uh, when it comes to the presidential election itself, uh, there's uh, some president who support Bitcoin or crypto in there. I don't know. I'm not so sure. Mm, none so far. Not oh. that I know of. Okay. Um, but I'm sure that um, a lot of these presidential candidates have heard, at least have heard about Bitcoin. Yes, exactly. That's pretty much about the Philippines, right? Uh, so, mm -hmm. yeah, right. yeah, you want to create the, uh, since you like uh, having your birthday before and you're like uh, giving to others, yeah, you want to create a foundation or create a charity or uh, in the near future after you become a influencer? Um, actually, if Bitcoin like reaches, <laughs> a million dollars yes exactly well i'm not sure if it if it's gonna happen within the decade but hopefully it will i really want to give back to um the philippines and help the poor and impoverished filipinos yes so there although um i can solve poverty by myself i can only do so much um yeah. but at least i've been helping filipinos um i don't have plans to make um um a charitable organization um yeah. i don't know with my partner maybe maybe he would be interested to to do so yes but um i really want to help people yes exactly so there yeah, and, and that, that includes by... educating them. Nah, yeah, that's. Uh, I, I agree. I mean, like, uh, it's uh, that's the way, you know. If you cannot uh, giving by uh, giving your money to people, you can give your knowledge, you know, because uh, knowledge is the way that people can be productive by itself, right? So uh, that's why it's uh, a better way uh, for people to grow. Because when you just give money, uh, they tend to like use it, right, with with no purpose. I mean. Ah, like you said before, uh, you know, the mi middle income class and below and the poverty uh, tend to spend on something like, uh, you know, food or, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and that doesn't mean that it's wrong, uh, doesn't mean that, but uh, uh, if you, like, uh, have no idea about what Bitcoin is, what money is, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of unfortunate, right, because uh, Bitcoin uh, changed our perspective in money, right, so, yeah, that's very much it. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Bitcoin is the sound money <laughs> and the most is... perfect money. Yes. It's just that it's just that it's so volatile, but if you zoom out, yeah. you would definitely see that it's going on forever. It's not gonna die. <laughs> and that um it will it's a good hedge against inflation. Yeah, recently it's not that volatile, you know, compared to the last cycle, you know. Uh, I, I got into Bitcoin in, since 2017. But again, it's more volatile mm. than this, you know, or more severe uh, than this. Because it's, uh, the market is, uh, the uh, market cap is not big enough, right? When uh, the market cap is not big enough, 
it's easy to move the either direction no? or, or up and down. Mm -hmm. It's uh, easier to, to do right. That. Right now, uh, is the is the decision getting involved? Who else getting involved? And the high net worth individual getting involved? Is uh, harder to get more Bitcoin, you know, because the Bitcoin is uh, you know uh, owned by people all over the world. All over the world. That's why it's uh, kind of hard to manipulate that, right? So yeah, I know it's still volatile mm -hmm. still, but uh, at the same time, it's not that volatile as it used to be, you know. So yeah, that's uh, part right. Of <laughs> I, I it's not as volatile as shit coins as well. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, shit coin is actually liquidity, you know, because uh, you know there is no coin in circulation that people want to try uh, buy and sell, and the slip the slippage is quite high, and people, uh, you know, got the got something they deserve. You know, so yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much about uh, the shit coin thing. You know? So yeah, I uh, I. I uh, you know, retire from the sequel as well. You know, back in 2017, I learned a lot about the industry and uh, got go uh, learn uh, that the hard way. And then I got into Bitcoin way. You know? So that's uh, pretty much about my story. That's amazing that you've been stacking Bitcoin since 2017. Um, <laughs> that's like yeah, yeah, way yeah, yeah, earlier yeah. than most Bitcoiners. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I understand uh, because. Yeah, because back then, uh, you, you know, uh, maybe you you call, oh, you're lucky or you're easy. But uh, back then, uh, people uh, say that it's bubble, you know. Oh, it's bubble. It's uh, like a tulip mania or like uh, don't come bubble. Who will never back up again? But I believe it is uh, because, because I uh, I knew I knew what's going to happen. I knew what's going to get here, you know. And then I stuck right away, and then the rest is history. And right now, I I don't know. I don't want to spoil my wealth, uh, but uh, I I I, uh, I just uh, you know quite unfortunate, you know, I'm quite fortunate uh, to know Bitcoin from a long days, you know. And, yeah. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm you must have been like um, you're almost like an OG. <laughs> I'm not an OG. I think... OG is 2013 or something, you know. But I'm not an OG. Right. I cannot say I, I cannot I... say an OG because I cannot claim because uh, you know the real OG with my at me, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. I still think that people who got into Bitcoin oh. in 2017 um, and earlier are like nerds. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> are I, techie I, uh, nerds. Yeah, yeah. Binance was it wasn't even popular at the time, right? Yeah, like, Binance yeah. was invented uh, that year, you know. Uh, it's not really yeah. Back then, uh, you use like Poloniex or Coinbase or you know, but Binance uh, is uh, invented in was it invented in two thousand seventeen? That's why. Right. Exactly. So it it's well actually in two thousand thirteen. Um, it was even harder to buy Bitcoin at the time because there were no exchanges, but only Mount Gox. And like Mount yeah. Gox is like um, uh, an exchange that planned. I'm not sure about the story, but I, I think they filed for bankruptcy, right? And a lot of Bitcoiners were robbed of their Bitcoins. Yeah. And until now... They still haven't gotten their Bitcoin. Yeah, but they released the uh, the statement right, uh, recently that uh, they try to you know give back the Bitcoin that uh, the user, uh, you know, uh, the the Bitcoin user because that is their money, right? But uh, I don't know, maybe they liquidated the uh, position or not uh, because they, yeah, a hundred percent, right? Up a hundred percent, so. Uh, thousand mm -hmm. or thousand of percent, you know, since that. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, let's see, lah. Uh, that's uh, gonna happen with the Mongols. But uh, yeah, good times back then. It was a good times. Uh, but I'm not uh, getting involved uh, back then. You know, I was, I was, I just knew the story uh, because I have no big, uh, no idea what Bitcoin was. But uh, in 2017, I got involved because it's like a crow coach, you know, uh, it's just uh, come and go, uh, it's not, uh, yeah, this is uh, up and down, up and down uh, during the cycle. So that's why I mm -hmm. find it, oh, this is this is the future. But in 2017, right, right now, uh, I have no regrets, yeah. <laughs> right, okay, right. Yeah. Um, 
Okay. Actually, in 2013, I would have been like only 15 years old. <laughs> so it's... Oh, yeah. it's okay. Yeah, maybe you just, yeah. you know, uh, uh, one, one year, one year old, in it, uh, what is it called? Younger than me, you know, one year younger than me, you know, I'm in... Uh, 1994 or something. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, yeah, you you say 1996, right? Yeah, it, it maybe two years, uh, two years uh, younger. But yeah, it's only yeah discrepancy or something. Yeah, that's uh, mm -mm. something personal. Right. Yeah. Before Thanks, uh, I finish, uh, I, uh, before I end this uh, interview, uh, it's just for one and share advice. Uh, do you have any specific big one press prediction? I mean, like 100k, 200k, or Bitcoin uh, bull run is over. Yeah, what what are your thoughts on market? I mean, yeah, it's only it's all, all, it's just for fun. It's just for fun. Oh my gosh, I suck in. <laughs> to be honest, um, I really don't. I don't know what to say. I used to like listen to whatever Plan B's predictions are because he used to be so accurate um, about the price of Bitcoin. Um, and until I ended up believing him um, about Bitcoin reaching 100K last year, um, it's the biggest trouble <laughs> I've, I've experienced because yeah. um, I bought, more bitcoin i borrowed money from my mom at around 50s high 50s 54,000 50 plus <laughs> and um it didn't happen so um the top at the time was only 69 instead of a hundred thousand yes um so I think this year, I don't have like high expectations anymore. Maybe like, maybe like <laughs> 80,000 <Okay>. or <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not really good at TA charts. My partner know, is Only for fun, yeah, just knowledgeable for fun. about it. <laughs> How about you? What's your guess? <laughs> I don't know. It's inevitable. Bitcoin in the next cycle, uh, we we reach uh, 100k. You know, because it's only two x from here, right? Yeah, it's not really hopium, you know, because it's only two x from here, uh, 100k, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. people say it's crazy game, but it's not really that. Uh, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's not something crazy, you know. I mean, uh, maybe uh, when uh, uh, in the mini office you can reach uh, 200k or uh, 300k or something, but uh, I, it just stuck sucks, you know. You you can never be really sure what's going on in the future, but uh, at least you get prepared, right? Why you're filling your bags with Bitcoin, right? Mm, right. Yeah. Right. My gosh, if I ever that happens. Um, I would really like get pissed with the people I orange peeled, especially my cousins, because they decided to <laughs> to um, trade using altcoins instead of Bitcoin because it, they find it very slow and yes. like it doesn't give them much profit and it's boring. So, um, yeah. I, I keep like reminding my um, friends, my girlfriends, uh, my brother's girlfriend rather, yeah. um, not to touch um, the altcoins. Yeah. Um, but they were so hard headed. Uh, my brother's girlfriend um, bought this specific altcoin. I think it's Solana and other altcoins, and she got yeah. robbed. And I told her to buy bitcoin only but she didn't um listen to me <laughs> yeah you can, they can only uh, learn by their mistake you know you cannot uh, convince everyone so that's why yeah we can only <laughs> share our experience but we cannot convince them right so uh, they they can learn the hard way you know that's why I, I i i i used to be that person you know i've been that before done that but uh 
uh, people will learn. People will learn uh, from the mistake, you know. Uh, only a matter of time, for sure, yeah. Right, exactly. I just really hope that Bitcoin mass adoption is going to happen um, within the next few years. Because imagine if, if it's been like a decade from now and there's still no Bitcoin, uh, there's a uh, hyper bit hyper Bitcoinization isn't happening yet. It's gonna be so boring. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. but so what? What it's do you think is it gonna happen no? because soon? It, it, every four years there's halving, right? When uh, Bitcoin in circulation getting uh, cut in half, uh, there's only a matter of time uh, before uh, you know. Uh, the price is cutting, you know, because uh, there's enough, uh, there's not enough uh, supply to uh, cover that demand, right? So, yeah, it's only about a long time, mathematically possible, uh, Bitcoin reach uh, 1 million, uh, maybe in 10 years, I don't know, but uh, it's uh, programmed that way, you know, but uh, let's see, lah. you cannot know yeah. what's going to happen in the future. Right? Yeah, it's a number go up technology. <laughs> That's right. what they told me. So, so there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think uh, that's uh, pretty much uh, for today. Uh, thank you, mm -hmm. Lee, for your time. It's been an honor to be You're here. You're welcome. Maybe, yeah, maybe we can have the part two at 100kk uh, to remind this interview again. But I'm not sure <laughs> if you have to it again. But uh, leave a like and mm -hmm. subscribe to our channel, guys. Uh, support Lee as well. Right?